मिसेल फर्से चारिया फ्रॉम जवाहर नवोदय विद्यालय दमनगांव डिंडोरी मध्य प्रदेश आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन क्लास 11 मैथमेटिक्स एक्टिविटी नंबर 29 व्हिच इज गाइडेड बाय मिसेस सुनीता गुप्ता मैम द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ माय एक्टिविटी इज वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ द ज्योमेट्रिकल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ डेरिवेटिव हियर आई हैव टेकन थ्री कर्व्स द फर्स्ट वन इज x2 y2 25 it form a circle with center 0 0 and radius 5 second one is also a circle with center 3 0 and radius 5 and its equation is x minus 3 whole square plus y square is equals to 25 third one is in form of hyperbola whose equation is x y is equals to 4 in the sheet a the graph of circle x square plus y square is equal to 25 has been drawn we take a point a 4 comma 3 on the circle we will draw a tangent to the point 4 comma 3 which will intersect the x axis at point p making angle theta with it the center of circle is 0 0 and the radius is 5 we will write the equation of circle in terms of y The derivative of y will give value minus x upon under root 25 minus x square, which will be equal to slope of tangent. Now we will put x is equal to 4. So dy upon dx at 4 comma 3 will give value minus 4 upon 3. The inclination of line on x-axis is theta. This angle will be 90. So by exterior angle property, angle AOX will equals to theta minus 90. We will draw perpendicular from A to X axis. So for theta minus 90, perpendicular will be 3 and base is equals to 4. So then theta minus 90 is equals to 3 by 4, which on simplification will give the value 10 theta is equals to minus 4 by 3. so we can verify that dy upon dx at 4 comma 3 is equals to 10 theta so both results are equal the first result is came out from the derivative and second result from the inclination of the line in next sheet b the graph of circle x minus 3 whole square plus y square is equals to 25 has been drawn we take a point 6 4 on the circle we will draw a tangent through the point 6,4 which will intersect the x axis at point p making angle theta with it center of circle is 3,0 with radius is equals to 5 we will write the equation of circle in terms of y y is equals to under root 25 minus x minus 3 whole square the derivative of y will give value dy upon dx is equals to minus x minus 3 upon under root 25 minus x minus 3 whole square now we will put x is equals to 6 which will give dy upon dx is equals to minus 3 upon 4 inclination of line on x axis is theta this angle will be 90 degree so by exterior angle property angle am x is equals to theta minus 90 we will draw perpendicular from a to x axis so for theta minus 90 perpendicular will be 4 and base is equals to 3 so 10 theta minus 90 will equals to 4 4 by 3 which on simplification will give value 10 theta is equals to minus 3 by 4 so Both results are equal. The first result is came from the derivative, and the second result come from the inclination. In sheet C, showing the graph of curve x y is equal to four. Take the point a two comma two on it. We will draw a tangent to the curve passing through point two comma two, which will intersect the x axis at point P. making angle theta with it we will write equation of curve in terms of y y is equals to 4x to the power minus 1 we will do derivative of y which will give 
dy upon dx is equals to minus 4 upon x square. Now we will put x is equals to 2 which will give value minus 1. The inclination of line on x axis is theta. This angle will be 90 degree. So by exterior angle property angle AOP will equal to theta minus 90 degree. We will draw perpendicular from A to x axis. So for theta minus 90 perpendicular will be 2 and base will be equal to 2. So tan theta will equal to minus 1. So both results are equal. The first results come from the derivative and second results come from the inclination of line. The application of this activity is to verify the result that the slope of the tangent at a point is equal to the value of the derivative at that point for other curves. Thank you.